All right, question time. Hi, Steph. I've been loving your videos, but seeing that you really don't like Ruby, I just finished the Rails portion of the Olden project and was curious if you felt it'd be a good idea to shift my backend knowledge from Ruby on Rails to a different language such as PHP, Node, or even Golang. First of all, I don't really hate Rails, Ruby or Rails. I think that it had a profound impact in terms of development back in the early, well, mid-2000s, rather. I just, it's just a little joke of mine. I would not use Rails and Ruby myself simply because I think it's a, it's a gradually fading technology, although it still has enough market share. It's going to be around for many years, many years. If I was learning something new, if I wanted to be a freelancer, as I said before, I'd go PHP or Node. Uh, if I wanted to get into AI, I'd go Python. But at the end of the day, the underlying theme, the underlying message I try to convey is that when you are looking for work opportunities, just look at the jobs, right? Just look at the job market. So if uh, you're looking for jobs in your local area, just look at local listings. You can go to indeed.com and there are several other sites as well and see what it is, see what they are looking for in terms of skill sets. You may find it's PHP, you may find it's .NET C Sharp. I heard that's very popular in Germany. You may find it's Ruby on Rails, who knows? So just look around. One of the other messages I hope to convey in on this channel is that Languages don't matter so much when you're learning, in the sense that once you've learned to write code in Ruby with Rails as your web framework, for you to jump over to PHP Laravel, Laravel is the most popular PHP framework, which part of it was modeled after Rails in the past, just to give Rails its due. Uh, once you've learned Ruby on Rails and Ruby, you could jump over to PHP Laravel pretty easily. You could jump to, jump to C Sharp .NET pretty easily. You could jump to Java Spring fairly easily. Java Spring is like a, a bit of a beast compared to the other more lighter, nimble, nimbler frameworks. Same thing with Python, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I am pretty much language and framework neutral. I feel that they are dependent on the job that you're working on. So that's why I don't necessarily teach how to do this in Node or how to do this in uh, in Java, how to do this in Python Django. One of the reasons I don't teach that is because there's plenty of decent tutorials on the web for free on YouTube that teaches that. Once you have your foundations, that's what I concentrate on, real world coding basics, real world coding considerations to move from this framework to that framework, from this language to that language is pretty easily. So I teach the fundamental coding concepts and programming techniques using JavaScript, Python, PHP. I also teach database with SQL. And besides the other languages, HTML, CSS, although HTML, CSS are not programming languages, they're coding languages. Anyhow, so yeah, to answer your question again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, rush to learn something new. I think if you're comfortable with Rails and Ruby, I would just start looking for jobs and seeing what jobs are available. And then based on that, if you can find a Ruby on Rails job, then take it. I'm sure it's going to pay well. But if you find that there's no jobs there and you have to learn .NET, then learn that. Or you have to learn PHP, learn that. If you want to go freelance, then I would definitely go look at PHP. Lots of freelance work in PHP or Node. So for people who are listening to this who have never learned a language before, to reiterate, to restate, my choices for freelancing would be PHP first, Node.js second. If you wanted to go general purpose, you might want to do Node, and then, again, uh, learn Python, and then, uh, and then just see what the job market is like, and then make a decision based on that. Again, the language doesn't really matter in the end because you can just jump from one to the other. You know what, I'm going to read the next question. I don't even know if I answered this already, so I'm just going to answer it here anyway. Apache versus Nginx. Nginx is a super fast, high performance web server. We actually use it, I believe, in Studio Web 3. It's fast. Is it going to make much of a difference versus Apache for most websites? No. Is it worth learning Nginx? No. I suggest for developers, especially young developers, 
I would just use a hosting company, you know, basic shared hosting for most sites are fine. Or I would go to a VPS, a virtual private server. Some will run Nginx, some will run Apache. You as a developer, I don't necessarily think you want to get into server maintenance and optimizations and server configurations. Remember, you're not designing the next Facebook. Most, most likely you're not. So you don't need to worry about the uh, potential performance advantages of Nginx versus well, Nginx here. I think it's called Nginx. Anyway, versus uh, Apache or IIS for, for that matter. IIS is Microsoft's web server. Anyway, just a little bit of bonus content there in this video. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.